Hi everybody and welcome to the flute practice. Today is day number seven and we are diving into quite an unusual combination of Tafanol Gobert number four and finding expression in our playing. This is going to become clearer as we go along so stay tuned for what I think is going to be kind of like a really exciting practice day actually. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Before we start, I just want to kind of like a little disclaimer, as many of you know, those of you who are in my email list, I have been quite sick for the last few days. I have not done the kind of practicing that I hope to do in a flute bootcamp series. Uh, for those of you who have been sending me encouraging emails and just, you know, well wishes and whatnot, thank you so much. For those of you who would still like to get onto the email subscriber list, what I really love about this space is that it's a space to really just connect more in depth with all of you and kind of let you know my process as I go through this thing like live as it happens. I know we're almost a week in, but it's not too late to get on that list and get some daily encouragement. So just click below to my website and get onto that awesome emailing list. Let's dive straight into this exercise. This is actually an idea that I got from a professor that I was doing master classes with while I was in Europe. And I just think it's such a cool way to combine this like very scale, 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 -la -la. you know, words, not always my strength. I'm realizing <laughs> scale passage. We'll just call it that. It's a great way to combine a scale passage with kind of like a more emotional musical side of yourself and it's such a wonderful way to kind of marry these two things together and practice them together from the beginning. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to go through this exercise and each different key that we get to we're going to decide on a very specific emotion that we're going to play. So we start off this exercise in C major. I'm going to start off today because, you know, I have not had the kind of playing and practice that I would like to have had in the last few days. I'm going to start off for myself a little bit of an easier key just to make it better. Um, I'm going to start off in F major. I'm going to start off easy in F major, just being kind with myself. For those of you who are on that mail mailing list, you know that a lot of what I've spoken about this week and have had to practice this week is kindness to myself, to my own practice experience. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you today. I'm going to start in F major and I think the first emotion that I'm going to portray is just happiness, just joy and happiness. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Guys, I want you to not judge what comes out. This is really important. This is kind of a day of, it's a Saturday today. You know, today is we're in that weekend feeling. We're in that kind of like relaxed down mode. Tomorrow we're going to have lots of fun. Today we are still working, but we are getting down to that relaxed mode. And I want us to just experience a curiosity and experimentation today and all these things. So no judgment. You don't get to judge what comes out. You just, you feel the emotion, you really imagine the emotion and you do your best. And you know what, if it doesn't always work so great, well, you move on to the next key and it might be better the next time. What's also really nice to try is to push yourself with this and do different emotions like, well, how do I explain this? Opposite emotions. So for example, for a major key, do a sad emotion and for a minor key, do a happy emotion. So for example, I'm gonna try the same joy emotion on D minor. So, oh, really feeling that breathing today. It's amazing how after being like even just a little bit sick, although you know, pretty sick, you just like your body just doesn't quite want to like respond properly. Anyway, side notes. Gonna be lots of side notes today. My brain's a little distracted. Okay, so you can try a happy key on a minor scale. I want to tr like really going to, you know, give you some ideas of what, what kinds of emotions you would like to do. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do um, an emotion since it was Valentine's Day the other day. Let's try love. do 
the whole exercise right now just for time. I, you know, I'm not going to make you guys sit through my entire practice session. Just going to give you some more ideas. Let's continue. I'm going to do the next one. We're doing G minor. Sorry, just going to try and find it on the page. I do not know these ones as well by memory as some of the others. Um, we're going to try G minor now. Angry. <laughs> also interesting for yourself if you want to you don't have to do this but if you want to kind of like memorize like not memorize like take note of what you do when you feel those emotions i noticed for example in happy and anger i tended to play a bit faster uh, i used a bit more vibrato in the anger maybe also a bit more vibrato and expression in the love so play around with this and play around if you can perhaps enhance that experience maybe even you know make a video of yourself listen back to it i'm sure when i'm editing this guy i'm going to get tons of really interesting like oh that did not sound as i thought it sounded or you know i think it's really an important thing to not just practice technical aspects of music but practice musical aspects of music as well which is why i love this idea because we are practicing the musical side of things but we are also still getting our scale work done we're getting into all our scales we're getting into the nitty-gritty as usual, for my more beginner guys, just take a simple scale. Don't don't try anything fancy. You know what? You can practice 10 different emotions on G major. I mean, you know, really seriously that simple. You can practice even, you know, 10 different emotions on like a note or three notes you can even do. Just practicing the feeling of different emotions. So today is really about expression. I say expression in the fingers because we are getting those fingers moving, but it's really about finding that like inner expression and just letting it go, baby, letting it all out. I really suggest making a nice list of different emotions that you would like to try out. I'm gonna have lots of fun with some of these. I really encourage you to maybe like post some emotions below that you think are cool emotions to try out or that you've tried out that have really worked well. I will be supplying a list of emotions for my patrons and also for my email subscriber guys. So if you're really stuck with ideas, sometimes it happens, you know, just down Saturday and we just like have kind of worn out all our creative energy for the week. That's fine. I am going to be providing a list there. So for those of you who would like to either get onto the patron system or get onto the subscriber system or both, I really encourage you to do that. Until then, everybody, happy practicing, happy expressing, and see you tomorrow.